Hey, it's David Thomas with Orchard Hills Church and your morning devotion. So I hope everybody's having an incredible start to your week. Um, so we are, you know, trying to get back to a normal schedule once again. Uh, my father is finally starting to feel better. He was able to preach on Sunday and uh, hopefully you saw that on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page, or maybe you were there in person. And uh, so he's going to be back uh, this week. So hopefully, you know, I can't promise it's going to be tomorrow, but uh, hopefully this week we'll be back at it with some more devotions for you, um, for all the viewers. And we definitely appreciate your patience with that. So that being said, today, I want to talk to you about faith over fear. So, you know, this really came about because right now uh, I was talking to a friend of mine and he's really scared to leave his house. Um, he's an older gentleman and he's just, you know, he's, He's afraid to go to the store. He's afraid to go to the post office box. You know, he's just, uh, he's afraid to leave his house. He says he's not going to leave his house until the new, you know, the new variant and all that kind of dies down, which is fine. But we can't live in fear, right? This is not, you know, to point fingers at people who are, you know, worried that they're going to get sick. You should be, right? You know, now in this day and age, you have to be cautious. You know, not only are we in a global pandemic, but we also have the new, you know, the new variants coming out and then you're worried about your kids at school and you're worried about, um, you know, masks and everything else. Just there's so much right now going on in the world. And if we, we didn't have faith and we didn't have Christ, we could get very afraid. Why? Because we have no other hope, right? It, all we have is what's here on earth, just our, our own physical abilities. And or we're dependent on the government or something like that. And we don't want to depend on anyone, not even ourselves. We only want to be dependent on God. All right. Because God's the only one that can save us. He's the only one that can protect us. He's the only one that can lead us and guide us in the way that will be the best for us. So let me read this uh, scripture from 2 Timothy. Uh, Paul wrote a very, um, you know, very heartfelt letter to, uh, to Timothy. So let me uh, read this, just this uh, one verse out of it. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. So right there, you know, God doesn't want us to be faith, uh, fearful. He doesn't want us to be afraid. He doesn't want us to be timid and worry all day long that maybe we're going to get sick. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're going to have no money in the bank. Maybe we're not. Maybe our kids aren't going to you know, grow up and, and go down the right path, or maybe they're not, right? That's why, speaking of children, that's why we dedicate our children to the Lord when they're young, right? The young babies, dedicate them to the Lord. Why? Because at that point, they're God's. It's out of our hands. I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about my kids. Do I pray for my kids every single day? Absolutely. You, you better believe it. But do I, do I just, you know, worry all day long that, uh, you know, they're out in the world, the world's getting worse. Uh, the, the sickness is getting worse. The criminals are getting worse. You know, uh, they, you know, nowadays it's so hard to, there's so many other distractions, you know, it's just the society's turning away, it seems from the gospel. So it's going to be that much even harder to continue to rear my children in that godly manner when there's so many other things that just aren't pointing towards God. But I'm not worried about it. I will pray day in, day out without fail, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to let it consume my life that I'm not in control of that. God is. And so I can rest assured, I can have peace that that's the case. We can apply that exactly to the pandemic. Am I, am I going to be cautious? Absolutely right? But am I going to be scared to leave my house? Absolutely not. Because I know that when the moment I set my feet on the floor in the morning, God's got it. I dedicate the day to the Lord. I dedicated my life to the Lord a long time ago. And I'm a child of Christ. And if you are a child of Christ, if you have allowed him to lead your life, you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior, you are living a spirit-filled life, you have nothing to worry about continually seek him, read the scripture, pray to him daily, make him a part of your everyday life, not just a once a week thing or a twice a week thing, or I'll say a quick prayer in the morning on my way out. No, spend time with God. Make Speak to him like you would your closest friend. And if you do that and you surround your life and fill your life with just a relationship with Christ, that everything that happens is yours. It's dedicated to you. It's all in your hands. You have no reason to fear whatsoever. So go through the life bold, knowing that Christ has it. So I hope you got value from this today. I hope you have a great, incredible week filled with the power of Christ. And uh, we look forward to seeing you real soon. If you did get value from this, please like, comment, share this with others, and we will see you back very soon. Take care. Bye.